Hi everyone, this is video three of chapter one of the Baylor Tutoring Department's CS video set. In this video, we will be setting up code blocks, which is the integrated development environment, or IDE, that you will use to create your C++ programs in Computer Science 1. An IDE is essentially a text editor combined with other tools that make coding a more streamlined process. We can write our code and within code blocks, also compile our code to make sure that it's syntactically correct. Then we can also run it. Codeblocks also packages in a debugger, which we will learn how to use in the next video for solving errors in our code. Just to call out before beginning, this tutorial works for Windows machines. If you have a Mac, download and install the IDE named Xcode. First, navigate to codeblocks.org. Once here, go to the downloads page, then binary download. Download the CodeBlock setup executable titled MinGW Setup, as this will package and set up the MinGW compiler and debugger suite for you. Once CodeBlock finishes installing, we'll create a new project to test it out. So once CodeBlocks opens, let's create a new project. We'll make a new C++ console application in the folder of your choice. And go to projects on your left side of CodeBlocks and see the main.cpp code file. Compile it with the gear icon, and then you can run it with the play button icon. Once this loads, we should see hello world display on the screen, as the default code in main.cpp prints hello world. So it looks like everything was successful, but if something didn't work on your end, go check your settings as I show here. You should see the compiler toolchain settings point to the location of your MinGW folder, and then the debugger should point to the GDB32 executable within the MinGW bin folder. I hope this video is useful, and up next, we'll check out what we can do with the debugger. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter which computer science course you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You'll find all the details you need about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu. tutoring you may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thanks!